Hello, I'm Athena Reedless, and I've been a fan of Elle Mills now for many years. To see her direct a short film is amazing to see. YouTube got me into filmmaking and exposed me to many creators like Elle. To see Elle pivot to short films is not that surprising. Her content is very stylistic and is very narrative focused. Let's talk about Reply. But first, here's why I'm qualified to talk about this film. I'm a screenwriting major at Cal State Northridge in my senior year. I've written a couple of short films and produced a few. Okay, now's not my time to slam my resume. Just trust me, I'm qualified enough. This movie review will contain spoilers, so go watch the short film for yourself. Here's what I liked. I loved the music choices. I think that it added to the overall vibe of the film. I liked the choice to have different aspect ratios to show the difference between the past and the present. I liked how the story was told. Both main characters, Sam and Casey, spoke to the camera. It broke the fourth wall to create a personalized feel for the people watching, both as the characters and the audience. I liked the overall feel and look of the story. You can definitely tell that this is an Elle Mills piece. From the music choices, the stop motion, the montages, the overall energy was great. I really liked the directing choices with the camera. Some scenes were only from one angle, some were handheld. It really made sense with the story. I really liked this moment. Hey! That was funny. <laughs> Moving on to what I didn't like. I'm just gonna preface this, of course I have my own opinions. These are just kind of things I wish could have been worked on. I think that the intentions of breaking the fourth wall could have been more clearly motivated. To start with Sam threatening the audience. Sorry, um, please don't get upset. Uh, I, I don't normally threaten strangers. It's just like a little weird. I mean, we were only given context at the very end. I would have also liked context for why Casey was videotaping. I think that my overall note for this short film was, what's the why? I could buy that Hayden wanted to help her neighbor. I could buy everything else, but like, why is Sam making this video? Casey has this big project, a treehouse, but why? Was going off to college getting in the way of making her childish adventures happen? Was Jackson getting a job impacting their relationship? I mean, there just seemed to be no conflict. Or at least there seemed to be no external conflict. The conflict in this short film was internal, which is hard to convey. One little note that just kind of bothered me was Craig, the delivery man. I mean, he was pointless. As a writer and producer, I would have just cut him. I mean, he's in a montage scene that tells us nothing. Sam's viewpoint that love doesn't exist and him finding that tape should prove him wrong, but that should be established at the beginning so we can go on the journey to see if it does. And how does finding this tape prove that love exists? I mean, she was never in love with Hayden. I mean, we don't see that. I mean, so why does he talk to the audience as if we don't know this? I mean, treat your audience as if they're dumb because we know nothing about their story. I might just be overthinking this short. Overall, I like the short. It had a really cute vibe. Elle, please make more shorts. I think this branch from YouTubers to filmmaking is amazing. I think traditional media combining with New media is just overall great. It's gonna be a little funky. There's gonna be people like me talking about our opinions. But that's what it's gonna be. Anyway, slay.